hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is oluchi a makeup artist and an aesthetician based in london so i'm here to give you tips on how to look after your dry skin and if you have oily skin and your skin has suddenly become dry due to the harsh weather i'm here to give you tips on how to you know banish the dryness or alleviate the dry skin because dryness is attributed to you know loss of hydration moisture and all that the first tip is hydration hydration is very important it's not just hydrating outwards it's drinking lots of fluid lots of water i know some people don't really fancy regular like plain water if you're in that category you might as well you can you know afford to put a bit of maybe lemon or something just make it nice enough i'm not saying like you know pour in a lot of squash or something i'm just saying just try to take in a lot of fluid it will certainly help and then again you know outwards on the skin what you want to do is you want to incorporate lots of hydrating products be it the serums moisturizers and all that and i'm also going to let you know how to use some of these hydrating products because if you do not use them correctly you're possibly going to dry your skin out even more so hydration is very important and the second tip is cleansers if you find out that the cleanser you're currently using say during summertime or earlier on in the year you use it it's absolutely fine then suddenly you find out that when you use it is stripping is drying like after washing your face your face feels somewhat dry then you need to switch the cleanser you use i mean for the time being especially in the dry season or in the like now the weather is harsh the winter season so what you want to do is to switch to much gentler cleansers so if you're using foaming cleansers opt for gel cleansers non-foaming cleansers or even oil based cleansers or cleansing balms you know like just anything that add hydration that does not strip the skin that's what you want to switch to even like milky cleansers they are much more recommended i will be sure to list a few cleansers in the description box below and this is very important as well stay away from using hot water on your face because that will further dry the skin out instead use lukewarm water if you cannot use cold water just use lukewarm water the third tip is to invest in rich moisturizers. You should look out for rich hydrating moisturizers, rich in shea butter, jojoba oil, ceramides, and natural oils. So you want to look out for moisturizers that contain these amazing ingredients and ceramides are very good because it helps to basically protect the skin barrier. What you want to do is that you want to use products that will prevent the skin from losing moisture, products that are rich and thick. And if you have oily skin and you find out that your skin is, you know, dry now, because to be honest, I have oily skin, but now that the weather is, you know, really harsh and has changed, like my skin is now flaky. So I've just changed most of my skincare products, you know, to gentler and rich products. And my moisturizer at the moment is a rich one, which I would never dare use in the summertime and i also include oils on my face but facial oils i would also say incorporate occlusives into your skincare routine as well and then face oils find the one like lightweight non-greasy face oils use this because it will help to seal everything in after using my moisturizer i use my face oil to be honest since i started using face oils my face is no longer flaky or dry and then another tip is to use gentle exfoliators so keep away from harsh physical exfoliants opt for chemical exfoliants if you're already using chemical exfoliants don't go overboard use it at most two times a week or even like once a week is fine depending on your skin condition because the skin is now drying out you find out that it's quite dull and yeah dull skin is a no-no for me so exfoliating is very important because you want to make sure that you get rid of all the dead skin cells that leave the face looking dull but then when exfoliating you also ensure that you do not overdo it whereby you know exposing the skin causing the skin to dry out even more and making the skin sensitized <laughs> in there so you know sometimes when you overdo your exfoliation even when you touch what on the face your face 
stings and burns yeah you don't want that so you want to exfoliate your face gently use acids like mandelic acid azelaic acid ahas bha but tread carefully and i also say if your face is really dull consider doing chemical peel but go to a certified practice either you go to a dermatologist or a certified aesthetic nurse or a doctor who is you know a pro in this do not go to any shabby place and so another tip is to use your SPF. Yes, this is the winter season for a lot of places. For example, in the UK, it gets really dark. In fact, you barely see the sun, but this does not mean that the harmful rays of the sun does not penetrate through the clouds. So you have to ensure you still wear your SPF religiously, even on cloudy, rainy days, wear your SPF cause you want to, you know, protect the skin from the harmful rays of the sun. And these harmful rays, they tend to age us and cause you know skin problems and so this tip is very important you need to protect your skin and do not forget to protect the lips because this is the season where your lips will dry out bleed from excessive tightness ensure you use moisturizing lip balm to protect your lips something i always do at night time is to make sure i go in with vaseline all over my lips like i use quite a lot and if you have all those lip masks such as the um Laneige or lip sorry pardon me but i'm sure most of you know what i'm talking about those lip masks that are really hydrating and plumping you want to make sure you apply this um you apply this generously that's what i'm looking for you apply it generously all over your lips before you go to bed when you wake up in the morning you find out that it sort of makes it sort of lifts up dead skin cell then you can use your tissue or even yeah you can use a t your tissue or something to you know rub it off then you it would reveal fresh plump lips during the daytime i ensure i use my lip balm so that's what you want to do and another tip is to stay hydrated indoors i'm not i don't mean you know drink water and all that yes you certainly have to drink your water but because we use a lot of heating shut the windows this tends to cause the air to be very dry personally uh, there are some nights i have to put on humidifier you know i put it on because i find out that i keep coughing i cough once I lay down like this, I try to sleep, I start to cough, you know, profusely. This is just very intense. So I always make sure I put on the humidifier. So this lets out water vapor into the air, thereby, you know, preventing the air from being excessively dry. This is a good tip as well. If you're, you know, you find out that the air is too dry. In. And when you're outdoors, try to use scarves and wear gloves because this will prevent further loss of moisture because the weather is so severe it's so harsh you find out that you know the exposed body parts are really dry and all that so what you want to do is to ensure you use your scarves like cover your body properly and so these are the tips i have for you remember to prioritize hydration hydration is key and now like i said i will list recommended products in the description box below so if you are confused as to what kind of products you use check the description box below and again if you have questions as well drop them in the comment section and i'll do my best to answer them and so like i promised these are the skincare steps that i recommend to look after your dry skin so the first thing you want to do is to go in with a gentle cleanser non-foaming cleanser you can use cleansing balms as they lift off dirt but at the same time help to moisturize the skin so use a gentle cleanser and so i'm talking about morning routine and so you're looking to using hydrating products so you use a hydrating toner you know you can just put this all over your face or just you know put it on your palm you know pat it down into the skin then follow up with your essence for example if you have your snail mucin this is the point where you apply it but ensure that the skin is still damp you know with your hydrating toner and so i would say if you use any toner that you use that you find out that it's stinging and it has this cooling sensation where it as if it contains mints stop using it you look for one that is you know hydrating that feels like maybe you poured water like ones that contain aloe vera calming products basically so that's what you want to do 
Then you follow up with your serums, your essence, your hydrating toner. So if you have hyaluronic acid, this is where you want to apply your hyaluronic acid on damp skin. I mean, in the absence of toners, you can just, you know, make sure your face is a bit damp. You can just dampen your face with water. Use your hyaluronic acid, your snail mucin. Snail mucin and hyaluronic acid, they basically do similar things, which is, you know, pulling moisture into the skin. And so that's why you have to always make sure you use it on damp skin. So if you do not use it on damp skin, it's going to pull the moisture you have inwards and pull it outwards, making your skin even drier. So ensure you apply your hydrating serums on damp skin. Then after your serums, you allow this to, you know, absorb into the skin. You want to seal everything with hydrating rich moisturizers. After that, if you have your facial oils, like I said, facial oils, not body oils, your facial oils, this is the point where you use it. Then you end with your SPF. Make sure you wear your SPF every single day. day. Then at night time, say you have your makeup or your skin is really dirty, you want to double cleanse. So you start by using a cleansing balm. Then you follow up with a non-foaming cleanser. Or you can even use your cleansing balm two times. I mean, because this is dry season so it's understandable so you can use your cleansing balm twice there's no harm in doing that if that's all you have then you follow up with your toner if you've got one then a hydrating serum remember apply your hydrating serum on damp skin then you end with a rich moisturizer and if you also have facial oil you want to use it at this point so basically that's how you do your dry skincare routine in this you know winter season or dry season so i hope you guys found this video really helpful let me know in the comment section below if you've got any suggestions or any questions and with all that being said i will catch you in my next one thanks for watching bye